guest today is Laurent Ellerbach. Laurent, how are you? Good, and you? I'm what's doing new? really well. Oh, what's <laughs> new? My gosh, I haven't seen you in so long. Everything is new. I, you know what? I heard, I think you got married since last time I saw you. That's how Absolutely, I'm yes. That's new for me. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, and you're here in Redmond uh, yep. in part for these, this Lego thing. I see that we have a bunch of Legos here. What's going on? Yes, those are Lego bricks. In yeah. fact, uh, I'm a, I'm a big fan of Lego. I mean, mm -hmm. I have to confess that I have like not tons, but like hundreds of kilos of Lego at home. Really? Yes, 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 ah. a lot. That's something you started as a kid, just never grew out of. Yes, you know, you do some time a little break when you are <laughs> a student because you don't have enough space. Okay. Uh, but otherwise, yes. And uh, I found interesting with Legos moving forward is that it's a great tool as well in a professional environment. Uh, to uh, do what we call like Lego Serious Play. Lego Serious Play. Okay. Yes. And uh, the Lego Serious Play is about using the Lego bricks to express ideas. Uh, and the key things, for example, is uh, to be able to, to build something. Like, uh, for example, well, I have one hand, but I can build like my my character here, and that, 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 that would be me, for example. Okay. Uh, so I have a head, and um, you know, I, I like to share a lot of things. So this would be the sharing part, and I have various competencies, like marketing one, I was, you know, once I was marketing director, but as well technical ones. So those are my technical bricks, my technical background. And what I've built here, like in few seconds, it's me with few characteristics about me, and when I will explain that to you, you'll understand. Of course, I, I did it now um, by explaining you while I was building, but okay. usually you build silently and then you explain later on. Oh, okay. And what you can do with those, those kind of, of things is basically ask questions, have people build in silence, and then explain to the others what they've done. And during those kind of rounds, everyone has to be silent, listen to the person explaining. Of course, you can ask questions, but uh, 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 you are listening a lot. And then you put things in common. And what I've done with that at Microsoft, and that's the reason why I'm, I'm, I'm here, is I've built a diversity and inclusion Lego workshop oh. based on this methodology. Okay. Yeah, tell me about that workshop. Now, I see that this one right here, you've, uh, you've sort of, there's a person that's very much like a person, but you've also got some metaphors in here, like this, uh, this little hat thing represents yeah, something it does, it represents beyond just a hat. Exactly. So any brick can represent any ID. Yeah. Like, for example, I don't know, this brick here, uh, that can represent Azure. Okay. All that can represent like marketing, as I just said before. Right. And this brick here for you can be... Um, uh, a TV and for me can be a sofa. Okay, it does not really matter exactly what it is. It's just using a lot of metaphors. And uh, if you take uh, this brick here and you have like six of those bricks, mm -hmm. the combination that you can get with six of those bricks is guess um, hundreds. No, thousands. No. Ah, you are far away. It's 915 billion combinations. Billion with a B. Oh my gosh. Yes, <laughs> with the same color. So imagine now you change the colors and oh. <laughs> boom, you're to the roof. And so imagine that you can do with now. even a couple of bricks like that. Uh, so you now you could uh, you talked about uh, the idea of you and marketing or whatever this yeah. metaphor you represent. Yeah. What's the advantage of, of building this with Legos as opposed to just telling me uh, verbally yes. about that story? So. The most connected um, part of your brains, uh, the, uh, yeah, well, your hands are the most connected part with your brains. I mean, exactly mm -hmm. connected, your hands are connected with about 80% of your neurons in some ways. So uh, uh, it's a very powerful tool to express something hmm. more than your mouse, which is connected to maybe 5% of oh. your brain or your ear. So maybe by building this thing, it might stimulate your brain so you'd be better able to exactly. uh, come up with those ideas. Exactly. And you are actually consuming both of your hemispheres. It has mm. to look nice because uh -huh. it's nice. I think that's the left side, the artistic side. Exactly. I, I might have it backwards. Yes, left is... Uh, I never remember which one. But anyway. The other side is the scientific, yes. side. Yes, yes. And it has to stand. So in order to stand, you have to use one part of the brain. In order to uh, have it nice, you have okay. to use the other part of your yeah, brain. The Spock side and the McCoy side. Well, yeah. <laughs> And uh, and then uh, what uh, what uh, what you have, which is the kind of uh, second effect, is uh, when you are an artist and when you're designing something, you know it always takes time to understand what you've done. Mm -hmm. And the reason is because your unconscious brain is taking over your conscious brain. 
So mm -hmm. you're expressing actually much more ideas when you are building ah. than what your conscious brains Interesting. Uh, so you're building uh, things that uh, you're not necessarily consciously thinking of, which yes. uh, increases the number of things that you can build. Yes, and it and the good news for you is that still your conscious brain will take over. It's mm -hmm. like it will discuss, we'll it will take some time, we'll catch up, and then you'll express more ideas okay. uh, with that. But, uh, tell me, how, how does this apply to diversity and inclusion, which is the workshop that you did today? Yes. Well, diversity and inclusion has always been, you know, something very important for Microsoft. Mm -hmm. huh? And uh, I, I had the occasion to, to, to build this workshop because we wanted to do something a bit different than, you know, just a discussion and much more immersive, much more experiential. Mm -hmm. So I say, hey, look, I'm a Lego Service Play facilitator. Why not train to build, you know, a workshop with that on, on, on few hours? And actually, I built a workshop, which is a three hour long. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, and we are using those Lego bricks and this methodology uh, to have people discussing, exchanging, understanding all what it is about uh, uh, diversity and inclusion, how it's, uh, um, how, uh, yeah, how to, to, to better work with others, to better discuss with others, to understand each other, I mean, all what is about diversity and inclusion. Give me an example of some part of your workshop that helps to promote or educate people on diversity and inclusion? Yeah, they are, they, it's based on a couple of questions. And one of the questions, for example, is what does respect means for you? Okay. If I ask you the question just like that, mm -hmm. oh, you may come, you know, with it like... It is a hard question to answer. It is a hard question to answer. Well, if I ask you to build, you'll just think about a few things and then you'll put bricks and then something will come out which is more profound than if I just ask you the question or just write it on a sticky note. That's really the power of it. And it's been proven by neurosciences. Uh, yeah. Recently, you know, analyzing the brain with, uh, with MRI and all those technologies uh, and looking at how your brain is, is working. Um, and, and it's basically using those um, uh, profound ways of how the brain is working to get more ideas out of it and then having good discussion. The other thing, and as mentioned a little bit before, is that whenever I will ask people to build something, everyone will explain what they've built in a row, and the others have to listen, actively listen. Mm -hmm. And then that goes as well in an introspection, and as well like putting in perspective with your own views, and mm -hmm. that's as well something that is very powerful in terms of, uh, of understanding and sharing and discussing uh, those kind of, uh, of topics. And trust me, when, uh, when you get on the question like respect, it's not the obvious like, hey, it's about listening. Yes, it, it's come out, but it can be very, very different things for very, very different people. Hmm. Yeah, uh, interesting. I saw we had a small group here and uh, people built very different things. And uh, I agree with you that uh, listening is a skill that almost all of us could be better at. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and uh, by, by listening to what other people were, were explaining what they built, uh, I learned a few things. Um, and this is, this is based on uh, some studies you mentioned that, uh, where did this come from? You, you created the, the diversity and inclusion workshop, correct? Yeah, correct. Yeah, that was yes. your, your brainchild. Yeah, absolutely. But it was based on something from uh, where? Yes, so the Lego Sayus Play methodology has been invented by Lego. Actually, they started to work with a couple of, um, of uh, faculty from Switzerland uh, in 1996. Back at that time, um, they, they were really, you know, a couple of business trouble and they wanted mm -hmm. to use the Lego bricks to solve their own issues. And then they've created this methodology, they pushed that open source. And if you search for Lego Sales Play on the, on, on the Lego website, you go on a nice website, you have a, a nice uh, PDF where you have explanation about it. Still, if you really want to become a facilitator, I can recommend to go through a full training four days and get uh, really deep into that. Or oh, full training from Lego? Yeah, it's not from Lego, no. I mean, they, they, they release the methodology, so you have few... Uh, um, consulting company which are giving you know those 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 workshops all over the world. I see. You get nice certification, but the complicated things like start right after is like building your work first workshop to solve a couple of issues. And what is quite complicated in that is to find a good flow of okay. questions. Um, like for this diversity inclusion workshop, you know, if you start by a question like, "Hey, what uh, respect means for you?" Well, like, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. And so you have to you know go slowly with a couple of questions and then. 
Mm. Or don't start with a hard question. Start no. with an easy one. Yeah, easy one on some mythology, and then goes and goes and goes uh, to to really get deep in the in the topic. Okay, so I think uh, if I'm hearing this right, you went to that training, you got that certification. Yes, absolutely. And then uh, they 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 have their process, and you refine that. Yes. And yours, you this the diversity and inclusion workshop that you built yeah. is a essentially a variant. Yeah. of the one they built. Is that a fair statement? The, 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 yeah, the training is more of a framework. Okay, with, it's more broad than yeah, this. Yeah, it's a bit broader, but they give you like few typical um, ways of uh, working for things like uh, uh, team building mm -hmm. or strategies and things like that. Still, when you have to build a workshop, you have to work on those questions, those flows, because every single company or every single situation requires different questions and, mm -hmm. and a different flow. You may have a framework and right. that's it. Now, for this specific workshop, I use just the very high level mm -hmm. philosophy, which is like, I'm asking you a question, you build, mm -hmm. you share, and then you repeat. But in this, you can as well have common build and things like that. And um, the questions are totally, you know, and the flow is totally just my own creation okay. in there. And with a couple of collaboration with people getting feedback to mm. have it uh, best as possible. Yeah, and you've delivered this workshop a few times, right? Yeah, absolutely. How's, how's it coming? How's it going so far? Oh, it's so far so good. I uh, had that much demand after mm. giving the first one that I decided to train facilitators uh, right. uh, to be able to scale because I will not teleport myself, you know, in all parts <laughs> of the planet. Teleportation is not a thing yet. No, not yet. <laughs> uh, and I will not, you know, spend 100% of my time because I have a, I have a job <laughs> as well. You know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an engineer and I have a team and I have engagement with customers. So I do that on top. And in order to scale, then I, I, I share that with, with other uh, person in an open source way so they can fully reuse. Um, the, just what I'm requiring is if they want to make any change, let me know, let's discuss, let's make it better all together. Like mm. the real open source philosophy. Uh, uh, is, this, is this just available to Microsoft employees currently? Is that right? Oh, currently, yes. But uh, if anyone is interested, I'm happy to, you know, to train more facilitators, keep the um, the, the content, it's not, uh, it's, um, I'm, I'm not paid for that. I'm not asking for anything. So sure. I'm, I'm very much of sharing. Uh, all, oh, is the content, content published publicly somewhere? No, and I will not publicly uh, uh, post it uh, because still you need to get trained to get that. Okay. Otherwise, you know, a lot of things can happen and I want really people to have all the elements uh, okay. uh, to be able to run their own training. All right. Uh, so you, are you welcoming people to email you and <coughs> ask you for... Uh, sure, of course. Know. Always happy, you know, to get in contact with anyone. What's, who's what's the best way to contact you? Oh, you contact me at laurel at microsoft.com. So L-A-U-R-E-L-L-E -L -L -E mm -hmm. at microsoft.com. And that's the best way. And I will answer yeah. any requests. T tell me a few of the principles here that when we're going through the workshop and I'm building these, um, yeah. What are some of the, the rules and the guidelines that people should follow? Oh, basically, it's about being positive. Okay. Uh, it's very important for the brain. You're always achieving more by being positive, by being in a, in a nice environment, by having nice colleagues and having smile than everyone, you know, complaining or being bad, etc. So being positive is just very important. Makes sense, yeah. Other few things is like, well, you build on diversity and inclusion, you build stuff which are personal, don't judge anyone. Okay. Listen, have a good will, benevolence, things like that. That's very important as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, there are a few other things that may seen as like, you know, um, well, minor, like don't be, if, if I'm searching for a word, we are playing you like, oh, this is like, like, no, it's like, um, I don't know. Don't tell me that it's, it's a bulb or it's a light or it's whatever. Let me find my own word. Mm, because okay. our brains are very... Um, 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 they, they, they will keep whatever is coming, you know. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it, it's lazy. And mm. uh, it may not be exactly what you are looking for. And words are important. Mm, and okay. giving the time to process is important as well. Because again, you have this unconscious and conscious discussion happening. Mm. Uh, during those workshops, people don't need any... PC or phone or whatever. I mean, mm -hmm. you may you can keep your phone to take pictures, but not to do emails. Oh, that's, that's and uh, cool. that that's uh, that's that's about it. And, and of course, it's about having fun and listening to others. And one another important rule uh, that we have in the workshop is to build in silence. 
same stuff because the brain is very lazy. As soon as it will hear something, then it will focus on something else. Oh, yeah. While, <laughs> in fact, you need to be concentrated on building your stuff so that your unconscious brain can express much more things than if it's busy by trying to understand what's happening around. Mm. Uh, where are you giving this workshop next? Uh, next in London next week okay. uh, mm -hmm. with 80 participants. Oh, uh, yes, I won't be the only uh, facilitator. Then we'll have other facilitators helping as well, uh, because otherwise, you know, you cannot uh, be uh, with everyone and every table. So right. count facilitator for um, five, four, for 10, 15, 20 people. Mm -hmm. uh, that's that's about it. Uh, All right, uh, Laurent, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, David, and always a pleasure. Lego is about technology and friends.